Hello, this is Leonardo from Croatia, and I'd like to reflect on the course. I decided to start a team university teachers because I wanted to work with uh, people who teach at the same age group as I do. I actually wanted us to share experiences and uh, ideas, uh, and uh, I'm very satisfied with uh, what we did in the course. So now I'd like to thank my team workers uh, who were really supportive and uh, I really enjoyed collaborating with them. Uh, so I don't think that we faced any major challenges. I think that the biggest challenge was that we live in different time zones. So it was quite difficult to organize a Zoom meeting, but so we did manage to do all the tasks. Uh, so collaborating in different ways. And uh, as an individual, I must say that the biggest challenge for me was to find time to do all these activities because I was in the middle of the exam period. I was supposed to grade my students' exams, which is time consuming. So, uh, and it was especially difficult in week three when we were supposed to collaborate on Google Slides. But somehow I did manage to catch up with uh, the activities. And at the end, I was quite satisfied with what I did. Uh, and I also think that my students might uh, face some, uh, I don't know, technical issues because they're not used uh, uh, to using all these online uh, tools. But uh, I don't think it will be a problem for me to deal with those issues because I can give them links to tutorials that they can find on YouTube, or I can also teach them how to use uh, these tools uh, via Zoom. But I hope that uh, we will have face-to-face uh, -face classes in the next semester, so I might be able to uh, teach them during my classes how to use these online tools. And um, I uh, did learn a lot about myself, actually, in the course, because um, now I know that I love collaborating, so especially with people who teach in different parts of the world. And um, so I really enjoyed that, and also, I'm not good when I have to work under pressure because then I somehow panic. I feel guilty that my contribution wasn't good enough, but uh, still I have some time to, to learn and uh, in order to improve that. And um, I'm certainly going to use uh, Google Docs, Google Slides and Google Forms for different activities. So when it comes to Google Docs, I can ask my students to, I know, to, to write uh, dialogues or to change the ending of a short story working together. Also, uh, they can be used um, uh, for different brainstorming activities because I teach academic writing. And so before they write an essay, they should brainstorm their, their ideas and make an outline. Uh, so Google Docs are ideal for, for that. So that might help my students to actually be better at writing essays. Then when it comes to Google Slides, I'm going to ask them to uh, to make presentations and then to uh, present uh, that in class. Uh, so either in online classes or in face-to-face -face classes. And uh, Google Forms can be used for different purposes. I'm certainly going to use them for my research, so that's quite easy and also for checking my students' uh, knowledge, uh, then also for different quizzes and so on. So at the end, I'd just like to say that uh, I'm really happy that I have taken part in this course uh, and it was uh, great, actually. I did have a chance to learn a lot. Uh, I must say that I uh, haven't used most of these tools before, but I'm certainly going to use them now. So. Thank you, everyone. So thank you, Dr. Nelly. Thank you, my team workers. And thank you all who participated in the course and who read my comments and replied to them. Thank you very much. And see you. Bye.